All right, so I'm gonna be testing out this Factor 55 retention pulley. Um, seen some testing on YouTube, not very impressive testing at all. I figured well, why not and go ahead and do some actual real world testing with this. And better yet, let's compare it to a traditional uh, snatch block and see the actual efficiency loss of the actual friction of the ring itself to see how much friction loss there is on this type of setup. It's generally about 5% from what I've seen online about the snatch blocks. And since I don't have a fancy load cell, well, I do have a hydraulic cylinder. So it's a two inch bore, one inch rod. So I filled this up with hydraulic oil, capped off the other end. This end here is just empty, just a little plastic cap. I'm gonna pull this cylinder apart. And basically, the since I know the surface area of this piston, the working area, Whatever pressure I get and calculate actually how much pounds of force I'm pulling the cylinder apart to actually calculate how much force is being lost through friction. And the way I'm going to do that is when the line comes through from the winch back to the vehicle, if this line, this, uh, sorry, this pulley ever gets any drag or let's say it seizes up, this line here will actually get slack, the side where the load cell is. And the side that gets the winch line will be acting more like a one-to-one -one pull. Because, well, I mean, at that point, you're not, you're not rotating around this axis here. So my theory is if this were to have that much drag, you'll actually have less force on the load cell side on that cylinder. So really don't know. It is, um, I did some general testing earlier. Uh, the results look like it's worth doing it again. Just double check. So we'll see what I can figure out. The brake set, the steering wheel is actually locked into place. about the wind I got the I got the cylinder hooked up and we'll give it a little bit of test pull since we're at alright let's give her a pull see what she does Tires. Uh, get an amper greeting signal. Double, right. Double line pull back to the truck. We'll go ahead and put a load on it and see what it levels out to. About 1,200 pounds. All right, I got the retention pulley hooked up. All right, we'll see what the, the force rating is on this one. Now, my theory is that if this pulley ever seizes up, let's say this lot of friction on this ring, if this pulley freeze, uh, seizes up, the side with the cylinder should go slack because it's no longer being drawn through. And the side that's got on the winch line will technically get tighter. So you should see a pressure drop on that side of the cylinder. So I've seen some other YouTube videos where the pressure increases. It makes no damn sense. I mean, unless the whole total load increases. But the more, if, you, if you're lifting a thousand pounds with this, with this setup, you should have 500 pounds here, 500 pounds here. That's under like no friction conditions. I mean, ideal, perfect world. So we don't have that. So you'll have more pressure on this side and then less pressure on this side, even with a traditional snatch block. But that's the way I see this, how this goes. We'll put a load on it and we'll see what numbers we get.
barely, barely feel a temperature difference. All right, just for fun, I got some soapy water. Nice and soaked. We'll see if that makes a difference in our actual load. About 11.50, 11.75. A little bit less. It's also going by that little piece of uh, expansion there, so it might influence the readings a little bit. All right, so here's the numbers. Um, just to remind everybody, I used some hydraulic oil inside the cylinder. I capped one end off with a gauge, the other end is just a plastic plug. Of course, there's oil inside. I know my bore, I know my raw diameter, so whatever PSI rating I can get on this, I can calculate actual cylinder force um, that's being applied to it. So, anyways. This is the numbers I got. So I had one to one straight line pull. I had 2,425 PSI on this gauge. So that equated to 57.14 on the actual weight that being applied on that line. That truck weighs, you know, the one tons and all that stuff, all the gear I have on it. The truck weighs 5,700 pounds with me, uh, without me in it. So that's at least making sense close enough. I mean, you know, the, the numbers somewhat check out on that. I mean, it's not crazy numbers off, but whatever. This is, we're comparing apples to apples on this one. So that's 100% efficiency in that line pool. And had my meter on it was 258 amps from the battery, letting the truck idle with a 140 amp alternator. So that's uh, just bonus information there. But so with the snatch block, I end up having 1175 PSI, which equates to 2,769 pounds of force on that side of the line, which is about 96% efficient. Like I was saying, whenever this line goes through, and this is the winch side pulling, if this pulley gets bound up, it's gonna act like a one-to-one -one pull. It's no longer gonna work. So the line on this side should get lighter, and the line on this side here should have more weight on it. So again, if it's more, if it's 100% efficient, you'd have the same weight on exact on both sides of the line. But you know, here we're dealing with friction and other frictional losses on that bushing. So, all right. So now the pulley end up having. 1100 PSI on the gauge, which was 2,592 pounds. So that's basically 90% efficient from calculating and also 191 amps. So um, a little bit more amperage, you know, nothing nothing crazy. I didn't do the amperage testing for when it was wet, but I mean, the numbers kind of match up, so it doesn't matter. But that was just a, the test on that, on the wet line. Um, it, it went down, but there was a, a little, um, expansion joint on my driveway where I con continued pulling it further and the front tire caught that little expansion it it bumped up the pressure to basically the same as uh, the snatch block here uh, if not more it actually went 1200 pounds uh, to 1225 whatever whenever it actually fully hit that little expansion that wood expansion so I threw that results out anyways but uh there's the numbers for that so I mean to us we're not using I mean, 6% loss, not that big of a deal. I mean, for what we're doing with it, we're mostly using this for redirection anyways. As far as all this goes, this is a lot easier to carry than this big, heavy uh, snatch block. Not, not to mention the corrosion this thing's getting from just sitting around. Um, even in an ammo can, you know, I mean, you, you don't put it up dry and it gets wet and you get rust and corrosion on it. So uh, as far as the, the heat buildup, there is barely, I mean, barely any heat buildup on this at all. Um, again, you saw how slow it was spinning. I mean, there's there's some force on there, but um, it's actually only 177 pound difference between the snatch block and the pulley. And I'm guessing that's, I mean, that's just how much more drag this is being applied, which is really nothing uh, for that line. But as far as everything goes, it's I think it's worth carrying. I mean, there's like I said, there's no visible damage on the rope itself. Everything's fine, you know. Uh, that's the results that I got. Uh, hopefully Factor 55 can uh, publish their results for their testing and I'm curious to see what they'll get but as far as the numbers go it's not terribly inefficient like some other YouTube channel I've seen that are showing 70% inefficiency with drag 
Yeah, they didn't mention nowhere on their whole video where the heat came, uh, where the heat went. Because if you got that much drag, you're going to have a lot of heat. It's just that simple. I mean, the energy's got to go somewhere. So, and again, their side of the line with the load cell end up increasing in, in tension, which doesn't make sense given the setup on the snatch block. So, I think there was too many other variables other than pulling up the hill on that one. But. So, thanks for watching.